Hello everybody, this is Prince Mouse, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. Let me switch my shit over, I don't know why this is being stupid. Okay, there we go. So this looks different. What's this all about? Welcome to the first Splatfest, basically. And also, there went that whole chain of doing the videos in the correct order. Why am I having no signal? You wanna run that by me again? Very good. There we go. Okay, cool. Yay. I'm gonna skip most of this. Blah, 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 blah. Turn four. Okay. Is it the same as the last one? Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, there was a new weapon. Cool. Well, we got this. Yay. This is very, very pretty. They definitely made sure it was important that this was, like, super cool looking. Open to record for- oops, I should probably switch my weapon. <laughs> okay. I'm really, really happy to be doing a Splatfest, finally. And if you're wondering where I've been this whole time, um... We'll basically call it me doing a break. There was a bunch of stuff that I could make an excuse about that happened. I mean, it actually did happen. There's, you know, I had bullshit happen to me that was really annoying and stupid. But, I mean, uh, I probably could have tried really hard to record. I just didn't want to. It wasn't really that high on my list of priorities. But now that this is temporary and it's a thing, you know, this may as well be a good way to to get back into it, <clears throat> and I will do at least a video tomorrow. I promise that. Now, here's the thing that I'm annoyed about: is that the Splatfest uh, from the one that I played. Now that uh, now you have the one that I played took a little bit too long. I've played all Splatfest so far. That does include the uh, the public test fire one. I don't know what it's called again. World premiere or something like that. So, yeah, we I've been playing that, and uh, I've played all three of the ones that have happened, and I guess the first one was fine, if only because uh, it was free and everyone tried it. Because they were like, hey, look, a free game that we can try it for a little bit. This looks fun. And now that that, like, maybe it was just one more one-sided on the ketchup and mayo thing. Because, like, the stats definitely said that it was one-sided. I did not even try to kill him. Oh, the colors are a little bit different. Because the green is much more vibrant than I thought. Well, that makes me happy. How did I get my ult already? <laughs> I should be inking turf, I forgot. Not really a ranked game mode anymore. Okay, cool. I, there's a McDude somewhere, and I don't like him. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> cool. Let's see where he went. Oh no. Damn it. Okay. <coughs> I saw that, my dude. I saw you hiding there. <laughs> it's not how you deal. I stuttered for a moment because I literally thought that he wouldn't be hiding there. You can have that. No, no, fuck. How we deal? Now that's how you hide. Team Invisible, my ass. <laughs> Making him look bad. <laughs> ah, fuck. Yay. No shit. Oh no. Damn. It.
<clears throat> but yeah, speaking of work, um, I had a five, or no, I had five days off because <laughs> of how my schedule was. I can't quite remember how it went, nor did I don't think anyone really cares that much, so I'll try to skim it out a little bit, make it interesting. But basically, um, I didn't work for two days in a row, uh, so I was like, hey, cool, two day off. So, but uh, swiftly following that, I worked for one day, but as it turned out, I couldn't work for that one day, and I believe it was, it was a Tuesday. Oh, no. Uh, so I called in, and somebody was just, like, nice enough to be able to carry it. That's my alarm. How you been? You can fuck right off. Okay. Somebody was nice enough to take it for me, so that was cool. They did. Oh, I thought I killed you. Damn it. I got really close, though. And, uh, I also, I noticed immediately after, because I wasn't sure, not immediately, but I called up there to see what was going on, what was, what my schedule was like, when they have the entirety of the map. Nope, not letting that happen. No, oh, fuck you, come on. Man, they went ham last second, that's bullshit, okay. But yeah. Oh yeah, they won, like, just barely. But, uh, what happened was that basically whenever we... Or whenever I called up there, they were saying that, like, you don't work up until Saturday or Sunday, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and it only hit me just a while ago, like, immediately after I recorded the video for uh, doing the minigun thing, or the uh, the splatling, is, was, then, was then at the point I realized, wait a second, I'm off for five days in a row. And then I just, like, progressively for the rest of that day got happier and happier because I just realized how much... Like, how long I had for a break, and I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hadn't, I didn't work for a week, are you serious? Minus the weekend, of course, but like, Christ, that was pretty crazy. And then for a whole minute, moment, uh, minute I thought that I had to do that again. But that wasn't quite true. <clears throat> Which is kind of unfortunate, but also kind of good because otherwise my paycheck would look shatastic. It probably is going to take a pretty big hit from that, but I mean, it's whatever. I'm not really wanting to pay for anything right now. Not in the immediate instance, but like, hey. What the fuck? I thought, oh, did they raise the level cap? Oh no. Well, damn, I was about to be max level. Oh, the Forge Splatter Shot Pro. That's probably a really high rank weapon now, isn't it? Oh, damn, and I just realized, too, in a Splat Fest, you don't level up. That's... kind of shit, actually. Man, I would really like to do seven matches if I could. And just play this shit all day, but... <clears throat> can't quite yet, because instead of having somebody to drop me off because I don't drive yet, I have to get an Uber, and I had to get that all shit, like, straightened out. Dra that drive me just a little bit crazy. Oh, wouldn't you know it. Okay. I guess flight was more popular than invisibility, for once. Well, I, for once, and this is the only the second time I've seen it. But yeah, like, I guess that they were just more popular there. And I would, of course, pick the more popular pe to that team, wouldn't you know it? Alright. Alright. Alright, oh, can't think that. Probably shouldn't waste my ink. What the fuck, yo? My shit's much faster than yours. That shouldn't have worked. Okay, whatever. I'm not that pissed. It's not that bad. Okay. Nope. Thought for a minute that I couldn't ink that underneath me. Hello. No! I way overcorrected for that shot. I looked on a. 
like just a little bit of BS testing videos for Splatoon 1 and saw how ridiculously fast you can move if you have a uh, walk speed up. And usually I'm not a big fan of walk speed. I'm, I never really am just because swim speed is so much more useful. Direct. <laughs> but like, now that I'm like pretty good with a minigun, I could probably make a more aggressive frontline type minigun if I have the mini splatling and like max run speed. And that sounds kind of dumb, but like, to be frank, you start out the game with no abilities, pretty much, and you're still, you know, capable of killing somebody. You'd have a lot of drawbacks, but, I mean, you'd be faster than fuck with a really good weapon. And it has Tenta missiles, and I don't even know what kind of bomb, but like a pretty good, uh, secondary. I think it's like, I want to say it's uh, the Squid Beacon, which, you know, if that's the case, then that's pretty cool. Because, I mean, I haven't really, act like, used Squid Beacon to its fullest potential, but, um, try, you know, nothing saying I could go against it. And if I could do some really weird, stupid tech, especially in ranked with that, like, that would be awesome. <clears throat> the one problem that I see with that is that I don't know if that would, if, you know, the one match that I did, no, a couple matches I did with that were gonna, are going to be as consistent. Nice, you're right. No! I thought you were out of the bubble! Oh no. That is not good. Okay. I don't know if that'll help any. Uh, I think we got that. Yay, okay, cool. How much time do I have left? I'm gonna squeeze in one more. Man, I really don't want to just be a fanboy, though. Never mind. <laughs> Forgot victories get you a lot, so that's okay. And at the end of this, I should probably scrub my tea as well, because um, I can get those ability chunks out of it for super cheap. And what I will say that, like, I really like how you can scrub the Splatfest tea for unbelievably cheap, but at the same time, <coughs> I think it would be just as cool if you can put in ability chunks, like, for about, like, I don't know, how to really say that, but like, basically, you know how like, uh, I don't know, for those of you who do know, of course, uh, whenever you put in an ability chunk, or the required amount to make that uh, those ability chunks turn into an ability, are like, I think the minimum is 10, and then they get up, like, depending on the company and the slot, which is annoying, but the Splatfest T is always 10. Which doesn't sound that bad up until you realize that I have yet to get 10 on any of the items that, or any of the stuff that I have scrubbed so far. The closest I've gotten is Ink Resistance, and that's at 9. And I have still not yet to get that. So I technically, will stretch and say I technically have enough for 1 in the entire time that I've been playing. And I'm almost the base level cap. Which is just a little bit insanity. Maybe I was just doing something really dumb, but, like, I don't know. I don't believe I was. I'm okay with that. I'm also okay with this. <laughs> Team wipe. <laughs> I didn't even try for that. But, like, okay. What I was gonna say, my whole point for fucking saying this anyway, really tangented topic, there it goes again, um, is fucking... I would really like it if the Splatfest T only required, like, two, maybe three. Like, stretch it for three, I guess, if it was a really good ability like Swim Speed. Like, I'm 15 to 20 just because though that's, like, an ability that works with pretty much anything. You're not gonna kill me with that, dude. And I'm not really gonna kill him up there. I should've threw a bomb. He wouldn't be smart enough to 
run away from a bomb. No. Did my friend die? I think he just fucking evaded. Somebody's using a spotlight. Hello, phone. Don't do that, phone. Eat. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Shit. Nope. No, fucker! Ugh! I'm not a big fan of the, like, I'm pretty sure Shifty Station was in both of the Splatfest maps, but I'm annoyed at it just because there's not a lot of flanking I can do. Oh, it was in the same one, but they don't have the same... You are not going to kill me point blank with that. That's not how that weapon works. Why is he being so aggressive with the Charger anyway? Especially in an area where he can't escape or anything else. Maybe he was hoping to get past that area pretty quick, but quickly. Did he give me the bomb or his charger? Oh. This boy got a Both. hero charger. Hello, Sosmo. Quick. You can have one of them. We can. Like, try to shoot at it. Shit. <laughs> I know everyone tries to fire at it because it looks like a little enemy and they're like, ah! Can I squeeze in one more? I kind of want to squeeze in one more. Uh, okay, if the match... Oh, fuck. Hmm. I'll do it anyway, I don't care. We'll do it. If the match thinks that I'm making uh, Yeah, I was like... Hey. I, mean, the perfect I am an idiot. You still level up in this. It just doesn't say what your level is on the screen. Do it. Cool. This is something I'm going to keep, I'm going to teach people it. Cool. It's like really good, you should see it sometimes. Okay. q -hoo? Underscore. <laughs> Why would you just make your name underscore? Underscore will have a great day. Shifty Station. I would like to not have Shifty Station anymore. I think I would actually prefer Sturgeon Shipyard. The Reef if I could. The Reef is flanked. The Reef is really good for flanking because it's just like pretty much nothing but flat and one can't fuck you. Canyon in the middle. Alright. I am I will say that like even if like the temporary stages are cool. Like, and they're a good idea. I'm really glad they're not in the main game because they really outstay their welcome pretty fucking quickly. It's just because of how fucking boring they are, really. Oh, hey. I, you are fucking barrel, you pleb ass. I think it's gonna get him. Nope. I can try real hard. It would be pestered. He's, well, no, uh, something's happening. <laughs> oh, you got him. No, nope. oh, damn it. I don't know what my, my, my roller friend was doing there, but he was not doing a whole lot of smart. I'm gonna try to, like, just shut them down over here if I can. I didn't do anything. It's a lot of four-on-three streamers to play with Dolphy. Do what? It's a lot of four-on-three streamers to play with Dolphy. I can see why. Nice. I don't even know why I took a hit there. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope. Hold on, bud. It's the CQC dudes I'm scared about. Because I know I can kill them in an, er, I, they, the Chargers know I can kill them in one flick if I get close enough. It's your boy. It's your boy. Oh, oh it's Boyo. Yeah. I did not even notice that. That guy's got a good fucking teleport. Hell yeah, that's a really good place to put like a squid beacon or some shit. 
squeaking. Squeaking. That's what I'm doing. Ah, oh, fuck you. His name is Hero Pawn. I did not even notice that. Hero Pawn, it's your boy. Yo. Fucking eat. Am I the only one that gets needl needlessly scared whenever there's a graphic change in a game? Almost like it's a whole new game. Like, even though it's sort of the same thing. Because, like, I thought of that with Xenoblade just now. Because, like, from what they're wording it whenever they showed up... By the way, we haven't heard anything of that game since the E3. <laughs> I'd like to just remark that. I did not even intend... Why is this not even painted? Oh, the spawn shut down. Nice. Sneaky boy. Okay, good. I was like, hold on, I got bud. Never mind. Give it to me. Yeet. Okay. I tried to throw a bomb real fast. I was like, maybe I should do that. And then game happened. <laughs> Yay! Wow, we fucking destroyed them. Jesus Christ. Who did that? Yeah. It's like the one person with the with the uh, ink storm, you can just tell what they've hit. Ink storm's a good thing though. Like it's actually a pretty good ultimate. Cuz it just stays forever and it like doesn't do any damage, but it does more than people think. So it's like it can throw you for a loop and kill you anyway, even though it really shouldn't. Okay. Anyway, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up this video here. Um, yeah, that was a Splatfest. Pretty cool. It looks really pretty. The music's cool. I like this... Uh, <laughs> the fuck, yo? <laughs> um, never mind. <laughs> okay. No, I just... I was saying that I, li I like this uh, Splatfest like, theme thing better in this game than in the second one. I don't know. I just think it's cool. Let me go ahead and scrub my shirt before I forget. Because I'm not going to be back in time to do it again. Yay. Cool. Anyway. <clears throat> go ahead and end off the video here. If you liked it, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Um, check out my friends in the description. They, they do music and games and all kinds of other stuff too if you're interested. Um, and yeah, that'll do it. I have been Prince Mouse. Have a good one. And goodbye.